Hello, I am Heather Slesser, the Marathon County Agriculture Educator. Today, I am joined with Ashley Olson, the Agriculture Educator from Vernon County, and Jackie McCarville, the Agriculture Educator from Green County. They will be speaking with us about the fact sheet that they co-authored, Castrating Dairy Beef Crossbed Calves. Ashley, could you explain to us why we need to castrate bulls? Compared to bulls, steers are less aggressive in the feedlot and they're less likely to injure one another. Finishing facilities also discount bulls because of their inability to be housed with heifers without the danger of unwanted pregnancies. Castration reduces undesirable carcass attributes observed in bull carcasses and helps to improve marbling and tenderness of finished feed. Steers acquire higher prices at the market due to these improved carcass traits. So these are part of the reasons why it's important to castrate our bulls. Jackie, when should we castrate our bulls and why is this a good time to do it? While cattle can be castrated at any age, research has shown that younger calves experience less discomfort during and following the procedure. Maintaining animal comfort is the primary consideration and because they are comfortable, calves will continue to eat following the procedure. This will result in less weight loss compared to calves that are castrated at an older age. Younger, smaller calves are also easier for the operator to handle. And the testicles and blood supply are smaller, which results in less blood loss during and following the procedure. That is why we should castrate our bulls at a younger age. Ashley, what are the various castration methods that are typically used? Castration is defined as either closed or open castration. Open or surgical castration leaves a scrotal remnant that later fills with fat, also known as a cod. The scrotum is open to remove the testicles and needs to be open across the entire bottom. Surgical instruments that are used for this process include knives or a scalpel blade or an emasculator. Bloodless or closed options include banding or the use of an emasculatome. Banding is the process of placing a band close to the abdomen, above the scrotum, and trapping both spermatic cords. Banding is also the simplest form of castration, but it has a high risk of tetanus infection. Emasculatome is the process of crushing the spermatic cord of each testes without actually removing the testicle. Jackie, what pain management techniques can we utilize with castration? Farmers should work with their veterinarian to obtain a prescription anesthetic to be applied prior to castration. They can also receive a prescription for a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug that can be given after castration. We must remember that castration is a painful procedure and we need to help reduce the pain for animal welfare, growth performance, and immune suppression. Thank you for being with me today and sharing the information about castrating our bulls.